Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Diana Lockett. I'm a realignment coach and a yoga instructor. Realignment like coaching is a coaching methodology that helps to bring equanimity, peace, calming, and healing to mind, body, and spirit, or thoughts, feelings, physicality, and spiritual connection. Today I'm going to be doing a yoga fit yoga class, yoga with weights, a little bit of cardio as well. Cardio meaning um, high intensity movements for short, short bursts of time. So if you have mini weights, I just am using four pounds today. You're welcome to grab your mini weights. You can also use a set of cans if you have heavy cans. I'm also going to use a kettlebell today. If you don't have a kettlebell, you're able to use your weight or just do the exercises without any weights. That's totally fine as well. And finally, Having a set of blocks or some stacked books will be useful for you. So when we move into this practice, what you'll notice is that your body is going to go through waves of experiences. Waves of feeling like, oh my gosh, I've got this, this is so easy. And waves of like, oh my gosh, I feel like my arms are going to fall off, which never happens by the way. That's kind of like life. And in Sanskrit, we call it spanda. Spanda is the ebb and flow of life. It's the rise and the fall of every experience that we have. It's the ebb and the flow of the lunar cycle, of the tides. It, happen in, it happens in our financial world. It happens in our health. It happens in our relationships. It happens in our work. It just happens. And what I teach in the tantric tradition is that when you are riding a wave of up, or a wave of down, there's one remedy, one medicine, one prescription for whatever the wave is, whether it's a high wave or a low wave. We take out a metaphoric surfboard, we hop on it, and we try to ride out the wave. So then we don't get attached to the highs because we know there's going to be some changes, right? We can be joyful in each moment, but we don't have to be happy in every moment. And we don't attach to the lows that takes us into states of depression, knowing that they can move us through, that we will move through eventually. So you'll find that when you do this practice, you might have some ebbs and flows. You might have some physical moments where you're feeling really strong and fluid and other moments where you need to just take it back a little bit and honor your body and know that that's just part of life. And you're preparing yourself on your mat, you're preparing yourself for life. That's what yoga does. So I'll invite you to close your eyes Sit nice and tall. I'm sitting on a block. It's a great way to start your practice. Remove the flesh from the back of your hips. And now place your hands at your heart center in Anjali Mudra. And begin to feel the pulsation of your breath. In Tantra, we understand that Spanda is a universal force and energy. It's just part of the the webbing of the universe, it's how it's made. And so even your breath begins to reflect Spanda as you breathe in, inhale, you fill up. And exhale, you get to empty. So each breath is like a rebirth. There's the dash in the middle where you pause. And then every exhale puts that breath to rest like a death. It's kind of like life, right? And everything in the middle, Lisa Nichols says, is called the dash. And what you place in the dash, you get to decide how you wish to engage in it. Or what is placed in the dash, you get to decide how you engage in it. Because we can't always control what happens in life. But we can control how we engage with it and how we assign meaning to what's happened in our lives. So find your surfboard. Imagine yourself now in your mind's eye, stepping onto a surfboard. Where does your body need to strengthen and engage? Where does your body need to soften? And let your breath now be the wave. Your inhale takes you to the crest of the wave. And your exhale brings you down. 
to the ocean floor. You do that a few more times. Just imagine yourself riding the wave. And we start with the seated centering meditation to bring you into this experience. You begin to deepen your relationship with your breath and to learn to become intuitive and intimate with your body sensations so you get to listen to your body and know what it needs in each moment. Gently release your hands. Go ahead and open your eyes. And please stand at the top of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Shoulders up and back, not up, back, and down, which just takes you back to your starting point, but be committed to staying engaged. Draw your belly in, lengthen your tailbone down, and now soften your knees. Inhale, extend your arms up to the sky. Exhale, soften your knees and bow to the earth, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers to your shin bones, lengthen your spine, keep your knees soft, please. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, stretch tall. Exhale, your hands to your heart and alongside your waist. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time, plant your hands and step back into a high push-up position. Plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop your knees. Squeeze your elbows alongside your torso and lower your belly to the earth. Lift your shoulders up and back. Press the tops of your feet into your mat. Inhale, gently push into your hands and lift your torso. And exhale, curl over your toes. Send your hips to your heels. Keep your knees down and tend your fingers. This is puppy dog. Good. Inhale forward into a tabletop position. Exhale, find a deep cat stretch. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your sitting bones, lift your gaze. This is your cat stretch. And exhale into your cat stretch. You go two more times. Inhale. Your breath moves through your nostrils. Exhale, enjoy breathing. You tone the back of your throat through your breath. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. And exhale, lift your hips up into downward dog and begin to cuddle your heels. So you get a chance to realize that you are absolutely able to control your breath, to deepen your breath and to create change in your physiology by accessing your breath. So slow your breath down, smooth it out, stay present to it, let it be your guiding star for your practice. Inhale, soften your knees. Exhale, send your hips as far up and back as you can, relax your heels towards the earth. Please do not worry if you don't touch. Inhale, extend your right leg back behind you. Exhale, come forward into a high plank. Right knee comes in towards your belly. Hold your high plank. Inhale, your right knee to your right elbow. Exhale, back to center. Inhale to your left elbow. Exhale, back to center. One more deep breath in. Exhale, up into a three-legged dog. Inhale, extend your leg, bend your knee open and stack your hips. Left heel is heavy, gaze under your left armpit. Inhale, extend your right leg back behind you. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Full crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, arms alongside your 45 degree angle with your torso. Inhale, reach your arms up. Heels over your ball mound on your left foot. Right knee is over your ankle. Exhale, arms alongside you. Good. One more time. Inhale, hold in here. Breathe up, reach up. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hands frame your foot, step back, high plank, breathe in. Exhale, lower down, knees can come down or stay lifted. Push into the tops of your feet and your hands. Inhale, lift your torso, maybe your arms go straight, your hips and your thighs might come off the ground. This is upward facing dog. Exhale, curl over your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your left leg up. 
Exhale, pull your left knee into your belly, come into a high plank position, holding your high plank. Inhale, exhale your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, left knee to center. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, three-legged dog, left leg lifts, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knee open and stack your hips. Inhale, extend your left leg. And exhale, step your left foot forward, stay on the ball mount of your right foot. Inhale, extend your arms up to the sky, crescent lunge, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, arms alongside you, 45 degree angle with your torso. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms alongside you. Beautiful, one more time. Inhale, reach up, holding here, extend through your fingers. Hold for your exhale. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, hands frame your foot, step back, high plank, breathe in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale into your back bend, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, curl over your toes, downward facing dog, breathe in. And out. Good. Now I'm going to move into the first hip experience. So if you have anything alongside your mat, just move it out of the way. We're going to do frog jumps. So for frog jumps, come into downward facing dog, bring your heels together and your toes apart. And you might want to shorten your dog just a little bit. It's going to get a little bit warm in here, so get ready. Inhale, knees together, toes apart, sorry, heels together, toes apart, bend your knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, step your feet to the outside of your hands. Inhale back and exhale, step. Inhale back, so you get to go as slow as you want. These are 45 minute sets. Feel your fingers plug into your mat. Bring your awareness into your core, breathing into your back body. So you're lifting your torso, like with an imaginary string to the sky. Good, go for 10 more seconds. Holding in downward dog, find a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good, one more breath. H A side, let it out. Inhale, extend your right leg up. Exhale, come forward into plank, right knee to belly. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, step your right knee foot, right foot forward. Go ahead and reach for your weights. Back heel is over the ball mounts of your back foot. Inhale, squeeze your elbows alongside your torso. Bend your weights towards your shoulders. And now lean your torso at about 45 degrees. Exhale, extend your arms long. Go right to the full extension to feel the tension in your triceps, the backs of your arms. Now inhale, turn your weights towards the sky and pull them up to your shoulders. And then exhale, extend. Now, if you need support, keep moving. You drop your back knee. Good. Keep your core tight. Right hip draws back. Shoulders onto your back body. Head, nose, throat slightly back so you're not dipping your chin forward. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Good. Inhale, place your hands to your waist. Step to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold your torso forward. Keep your weights in hand for a moment. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, with your hands to your waist, soften your knees, come all the way up to stand. And exhale, sit down into an imaginary chair. Good. I'm going to inhale, reach your arms parallel to the ground. And then exhale, bring your arms, your hands to your shoulders. Inhale, stand tall, reach your arms up. Kiss your weights. Exhale, come back down to your seated posture, weights to your shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Good, breathing through each movement, through each transition, bringing the weight into your heels, keeping the toning through your belly,
Squeeze your weights to activate your arms. Draw your shoulders together, so much going on. And now come back to the pulsation of your breath. Feel the sponda. Good, we're going for five more. Four. Three, squeeze your glutes on the inhalation as you come up to and one. Good. Inhale, drop your weights. Bring your fingers to your shin bones, lift halfway lengthen. Exhale, move your weights off the side of your mat and step back into a downward dog. Inhale, forward high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift it to your cobra or upward dog. Chin is humble. Back of your head pushing back if you're an upward dog. Exhale, curl over your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Walk your feet a few inches forward. Toes apart, heels together. Second set of frog hops. Bend your knees. Inhale. Exhale, hop forward. Inhale, back. And exhale, forward. Keep going. I'm counting 45 seconds. Good. Halfway there. Take breaks if you need to. Slow it down if you need to. 10. downward facing dog. I apologize if you heard a little clanging, have my earrings banging into my earbuds. Find a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale, float your left leg up. Exhale, left knee to belly, half plank. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, step your foot in between your hands. Drop your knee for a moment to reach for your weights. Place them into each hand. And then lift your back knee off the ground. Squeeze your elbows alongside your body. Weights alongside your waist. Inhale, extend your arms. Exhale, curl into your bicep curls. Inhale, extend. Back leg is so firm. Exhale. Ensure that your front knee is over your ankle. If there's any wobbling in your front knee, drop your back knee. Support yourself. You never want to move out, out of alignment. That just is the potential for injury. Good, we're gonna go five more. Four. And back. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Inhale. Release your hands to frame your front foot. Step to the top of your mat and fold forward. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to your waist. Come all the way up to stand. Exhale, into a squat position. Seated chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale, weights to your shoulders. And exhale, bring the weight into your heels. Good. Now inhale, straighten your arms and your legs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. So we want to go intentionally slow. Inhale with the weights. Exhale. There's a sense of wanting to fatigue the muscle nice and slowly. Good. And the older we get, the more this becomes a critical, critical part of our fitness routine. Using weights and strength training. Good. Five more. Four. Good. And I haven't done a hip class in a while, so I hope you get to enjoy this. Two. I've been doing other forms of strength training. The last one. Good. Fold forward. Release your weights. You come into ragdoll position. Arms, hands reach for opposite elbows. Bend your knees generously and just sway your torso from side to side. Let your head drip down. Mm, just breathe. This is where you get to feel the sponda, the pulsation. And maybe you even get a sense of 
welcoming it, recognizing that it's just part of life. You don't have to resist it. So inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to your waist, soften your knees, come all the way up to stand. And exhale, release your hands alongside you. Good, so we're gonna do taps of hand to foot, alternate hand to foot. Nice and slow, this is your next hit or high intensity opportunity. So, you're just weaving your arms to opposite foot. Core is strong, tailbone is lengthening downwards and into your body. And now you can keep it this slow, or you can pick up the speed if you'd like, knowing that the intention here is to get your heart rate up, but you only go this fast if you can feel your toning through your belly so that you're not just jiggling everywhere. There's a sense of really contracting and moving with a strong core to support you and to support your back. Good. Halfway there. Five, four, three, good. You're doing awesome. One, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half the lift. Exhale, fold. Reach for either your weights or if you have a kettlebell, a kettlebell, I'll show both in a moment. Bend your knees and come up to stand. Bring your feet into a goddess position, so toes are at 45 degree angles, pointing to the corners of your mat, heels are turned inwards. Inhale, sit your hips down. So I'll show you the kettlebell swings that we're going to do, and then I'll show you with the weights. So as you inhale, you're going to fold forward, and then exhale, lengthen your legs just a little bit, and bring your kettlebell up to your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, but keep going. If you're using weights, you do the action with the weights. So your squat goes down just an inch or so, lengthens an inch or so. Good, and then you're moving into your shoulders, your arms, core is still strong. Keep going, we have about 15 more repetitions. 14, 13, 12, Beautiful, you're doing great. Feel the pulsation. You went from a gentle forward fold into what? <laughs> Good. The last count, so let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lean forward and drop your weight. Keep your feet as they are. Inhale, sit your hips down. Reach your arms up. Exhale, keep your knees bent and fold forward, core is strong. Inhale, halfway lift. So fingers are on the ground, knees are still bent. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, reach up just with your torso, knees stay bent. And exhale, your hands to your heart. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, keep your hips down. Exhale, hands to heart center. And little pulsations for 10. Nine, see if you can open your knees. Eight, bring your weight into your outer baby toes, the bow mounts of your baby toes. Good, so you're not sinking your heels inwards or your feet inwards. Let's do three more. Two, one, here's the pulsation. Inhale, straighten your legs, reach your arms up. Exhale your hands to your heart center. Turn your heels out so they're in line with your second toe. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale with soft knees, fold to the earth. Now you might be facing the front of your mat or maybe you've turned to face the long edge of your mat. Either way is fine, just ensure that your feet are steady and gripping. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Reach for your weights. Stay in your halfway lift. Bring your weight forward into your feet so they're balanced with your heels. Engage your belly and soften your knees. Now inhale, squeeze your elbows alongside your body. Lift even higher and then exhale, lower down. Inhale, pull up. So these are rows. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Good. Keep breathing. Keep engaging through your belly. Squeeze the muscles of your legs. When you come to your full lift with your elbows, squeeze the muscles of your shoulders just a little bit more towards each other. Good. We're doing 10 more. This should bring on a nice a little sweat. Six. Five, this being the whole workout. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, release your weights and fold forward. And you can reach your hands for your outer feet or heels and pull up as your torso folds down. Pull your legs up. Good to stay here for a few breaths. Inhale, lift half or lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, your hands to your waist, soften your knees, come all the way up to stand. And turn your right toes to face the long edge of your mat. If you're facing forward, you'll need to step back with your left foot. And you're in a front heel to back arch alignment. Lots of space between your legs. Go ahead and reach down for your weights, place them at your waist, and come on up to stand. Lunge into your front leg, warrior two. Inhale, extend your arms out. And then exhale, turn your palms to the sky. Holding your strength in warrior two, which means your front knee's over your ankle, your left thigh pushing back. Inhale, squeeze your belly. Bring your weights to your shoulders. Exhale, extend. Inhale, in. Exhale, extend. Good. We're going to do five more like this and then switch it up. Keep wrapping your right glute into your body. Squeezing your right glute into your body. Beautiful. Two. And one, so a little switch up. Inhale, straighten your leg, reach your arms up, kiss your weights. Exhale, lower back into warrior two. Hold warrior two, do your bicep curls, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, straighten your leg, reach your arms up. Exhale, open into warrior two. Inhale, squeeze your biceps. Exhale, extend. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Awesome. The last time. Beautiful. Now inhale, straighten your front leg. Turn your palms down. Reach your right fingertips forward. Place your, your weight on the ground. I'm going to place it on the outside of my heel, but I'm just showing you here, and I'm using it to balance my right arm. And then left arm stretches up to the sky. Triangle pose. And your right weight if you're putting too much weight into it, it's going to feel wobbly. So bring the weight out of your right hand into your weight. So you're just balancing. You're not actually sinking down. Good. Inhale your left hand to your waist. Pick your right weight up. Bend your knee. Come all the way up to stand. Turn your right toes forward. And turn your left toes out to the back edge of your mat. Lunge into your front leg. Left leg. Inhale. Extend your arms. Turn your palms up. Beautiful. Squeeze your weights to your shoulders. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, beautiful guys. Exhale, feel your breath. Inhale. Exhale, right thigh is strong. Good. Inhale. Exhale. 
Squeeze your neck fluid into your body three more times like this. Keeping your chest lifted, your shoulders back, your head back. So you're not dripping your chin or your nose forward. Good, a little switch up. Bend. Inhale, straighten, reach up. Exhale, lunge. Pull your lunge. Inhale, bicep curls. Exhale, extend. Inhale, straighten, reach your arms up. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, so we only have three more like that. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Good. Beautiful last one. All right. Inhale, turn your palms down. Straighten your front leg. Reach forward. Drop your left weight on the outside of your left heel. Gently graze your fingers onto your weight so you're not sinking down. And inhale with your shoulder onto your back. Extend your right arm up. Triangle pose. Good. Anchor through the outer edge of your right foot. Squeeze your left foot into your body and please micro bend your left knee. Now you can hold your weight with your thumb. Extend your fingers of your right hand to the sky. Keep your right thigh strong. Good. One more breath. Beautiful. Inhale your right hand to your waist. Bend your front knee. Come all the way up to stand. Turn your toes forward. Soften your torso to the ground. Weights can drop to the floor. Inhale, lift halfway lengthen. And exhale, fold forward. Once more, you can reach your hands for your feet. Your ankles, you can pull up. Good, and just feel your belly slightly toning towards the back of your body, the weight moving into the front of your feet, so you're not sinking down. Beautiful, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And exhale, fold forward. Make your way down to your knees. Roll onto your right hip. Swing your right shin forward. So this is ear pose, which is going to be a nice hip stretch. Swing your left knee in line with your hip and open up your left ankle wider. Now both toes are flexed towards the knees. Square your torso, inhale, and exhale. Begin to soften your torso forward. So you might need to stay this high. Please ensure that your toes are flexed. You might come all the way down to the ground, maybe squeeze your knee and your foot with your elbows and squeeze to the center. And then just allow your hips to be breathed. And letting go of the attachment to any tightness. Sponda reminds us that every day is a new adventure, a new possibility. With a new set of emotional energetic experiences, a new set of physical experiences, new opportunities, new challenges. And so we get to practice non-attachment and trust that everything flows in divine, beautiful timing. And inhale, walk yourself back up. And exhale, swing your legs to the other side. Roll onto your left hip. Left, left shin bone is parallel to the top. Right knee is in line with your right hip. Right foot opens wider. Square your torso. Inhale. And exhale and fold. Either staying tall if you need to, or wrapping your elbows around your foot and your knee to squeeze the midline. You get to decide how much tension you long to create. The more tension you create, the more you experience the release when you let go. And that's what yoga gives us, is this opportunity to really feel into the contrast in life. We create tension to release tension. And we breathe into both, and when we experience tension in life, we can say, and your unconscious says, I've done this before. I know what to do. And I know that this too will pass. Exhale, lie down onto your mat, onto your back. 
And once you lie down, pull your knees to your torso, wrap your arms around your shin bones, rock from side to side. Open up your arms, let your knees fall to your left. Gaze to your right. You can use your left hand over your right thigh to deepen your supine twist. Both shoulders and heavy. Just begin to feel your belly being breathed. Inhale back to center. Squeeze your knees, rock from side to side. Exhale your knees over to your right. Gaze to your left if you wish, left arm is extended. And close your eyes and just imagine your in-breath fills your belly like a balloon. And your out-breath just softens everything in the body. Feel the swan breath. Inhale back to center. Place your elbows inside your knees. Reach your hands for your outer feet or your outer ankles, or you can use a strap on the soles of your feet. And with your tailbone heavy, pull your knees down and stomp your feet up to the sky. And you have options here. You can stay static. You are welcome to rock from side to side. And as you rock, you're welcome to extend one leg at a time. So just taking a little bit of a stretch through your hamstring. And do a few more pulsations. And now bring the soles of your feet to touch and drop the outer edges of your feet to your mat. Knees open wide. Baddha Kanasana, Baddha Kalkas. Place your hands on your belly, one on your belly, and one on the center of your upper sternum, your heart center. This is your energetic heart. And you feel your breath like a wave rising into your belly hand, into your thoracic cavity again. And then you exhale through your mouth and follow the wave down. Continue to follow the wave of your breath without needing to manage it at all. Just noticing the gratitude, the ease that your breath breathes you. And you're welcome to stay just as you are. You can release your hands, palm turns up. You can extend your legs, toes fall out. Come into your resting shavasana. This is always the time and the season for rest. And in yoga, this is it. This is the time for you to move into a state of nothingness and beingness at the same time. I'm going to stay here for a few moments and just allow your body to soften and rest. Good, and bring your awareness now back into your space, wherever you happen to be. Before you move, just follow the wave of your breath. Watch it rise to the crest of the wave and watch it fall. And 
trust that you have this beautiful tool to access anytime that Spanda shows up in your life and you forget what to do. Turn to your breath. Visualize the wave of your breath. Place your surfboard on the wave and flow. Your gentle movements through your fingers and your toes. Inhale, reach your arms overhead and your legs in the opposite direction. And exhale, each way. Ah. Gently find your way to one side. And then up to a seated position. Once there, place your hands together, Nanjana Mudra at your heart center. Bow to your heart, your beautiful, radiant, loving heart. Draw in a deep breath through your nose. Exhale, slow sigh. Thank you so much for joining me in your practice today. The light in me acknowledges and bounds to the light within each of you.